What's going on guys? Terrence here. Now, if you are following my new page on Facebook, McFadden Electronics, first of all, thank you. Also, if you're following that, you'll remember I posted a picture of the PS4 remote and the Xbox One remote with a little white piece of paper that I cut out the specific dimensions showing that this would be the size of the amp that I was going to do an unboxing video of. Well, there we go. That's it. The Taramps TL500. This is a two channel amp. It's two by 50 watts RMS stereo two ohms. Okay. It uses a uh, high level input with audio turn on so no power you'll see here or uh, no remote I mean you'll see here it's got power 10 amp fuse ground takes 15 gauge cable and then you have well I'll show you I'll show you what I mean go ahead open it up oh, a couple of other things I meant to show you guys uh, so it's two on model Two channels, 100 watt RMS, that's 2 by 50 watts. Uh, working voltage is 8 to 16 volts. Uh, max musical consumption is 3.8 amps. Max sinoid consumption, basically if you burp it, 7.6 amps. Frequency response, it is a full range amplifier. 80 hertz to 40 kilohertz. Input impedance, 1 kilo ohm. 0.22 pounds and then you have the dimensions there so enough talking about the dimensions let's see it and here it is the Tyramps TL 500 class D amplifier two channels and you got one two three mounting points for your screws um, or seeing as how small it is realistically you could uh, hang that from a chain or something, you know, have a uh, necklace, no bling, but you'll have a booming necklace, that's for sure. So, we got the manufacture date, January 9th, 2017. Then you have this here is for the uh, high level input, left positive, left negative, right negative, left or right positive. Battery positive, negative, input, left, negative, positive, right, negative, positive. Uh, you guys should know how to work that. You know, 15 gauge, like I said. Um, and actually, I was wrong. This piece of paper was supposed to be the size of the amp. It's more so the size of the box the amp came in. Because once you account for the voids, it's actually smaller. And we got... is here just basically a bunch of uh I'm guessing it's dealers and stuff in different parts of Brazil all in Portuguese and we have this here I'm not sure what this is because again it's in Portuguese guessing this is I don't know and last but not least we have this here the high level input so basically you know you hook your uh, speaker wires coming from your head unit you know just like your speaker wires that will go to your uh, so like let's say putting this in to run it to my uh, my front door speakers so your front driver and front passenger door speakers you would cut those splice it into this plug it in here and then your new well you plug it in here let me show you how that's done in just a second so after you've spliced your head unit wires or uh, speaker wires 
into this and you plug it in here so basically it's not like a, a constant on type thing with the radio it's basically as long as there's musical signal going to this it's amplifying said signal and sending it you know to your speakers which the new speaker leads will then come out of here also this amp can be opened little tab right here oh, all it actually turns out I didn't need to take the high level out so here we have 7.5 amp fuse which goes right along with oh well the 7.6 amp that it pulls max so you'll actually be looking at less than that uh you know really really compact amp um i really like how it's got the uh got the little fuse right there on the inside and we do have if this is too small for you which considering the fact that this is a 42 dollar amp if you guys want to order this it's 42 dollars um if you feel like spending more money or you know this is too small for your power wheels build or your motorcycle build or whatever um which here is uh the tl500 in the catalog we also have the tl600 which is slightly bigger obviously it's 170 watts rms 85 watts per channel at two ohms and uh let's see that's pretty much it on the amp you know there's a no frills just what you see is what you get you know nice cheap amp for uh for low power you know even though it, it you know 50 watts arguably isn't a lot of power but hey uh your average head unit really only puts out 25 watts per channel, so it's basically double that. So again, if you're looking to order, just message me, uh, contact my business page, McFadden Electronics. And we have a ton of other products from Tar Amps, if you're looking. Tons of other things. TS line, DSP line, which is our... Uh, Digital ones, the HD lines, you guys know about these. HD 3Ks, 5Ks, 8Ks, really, really big sellers. Um, and of course we got the power supplies. I might need to go ahead and get one of those in. Do an unboxing video for you guys. Uh, if you see any of the symbols on the amps in this catalog, this is basically what they mean. So, LED monitor, TL900, we got plenty of amps in here. If you guys got any questions about any of the products you see, or any of the products you've seen on the website, or you've seen somebody running, and you're curious about it, don't hesitate to ask. You got questions, I got answers. If I don't have the answers, I can get them for you. All right? Oh. This has been my uh, unboxing video of the Tire Amps TL500, and I'm signing out.